Hi, this is Dr. Robert Norman. Glad you're here. This is the Brain Skin Connection series, the outer brain, the incredible power of the brain skin connection. This is from the Norman Center for Neurodermatology. We're investigating the interactions between the brain and the skin in relationship to disorders such as melanoma, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, autism, neurodermatitis, and other neurocutaneous diseases. What is our goal here is to translate skin brain research into effective behavioral strategies that prevent disease, promote healing, provide treatments, and enhance well-being across the lifespan. The five known senses, hearing, vision, taste, touch, and smell, each have their corresponding sensory organs, ears, eyes, taste buds, skin, and olfactory bulb, respectively. They each possess a corresponding part of the brain where the incoming sensory information is processed and later passed along to our conscious mind. As noted by Philip Hsu of Inside Science News, researchers can test these ideas with an array of tests and direct imaging of the brain. Traditionally, the human brain is thought to comprise distinct dedicated areas for processing information from each of our five senses. Professor Jeffrey Yao of Baylor College of Medicine is turning this paradigm on its head. His research in how we perceive environmental oscillations in the form of sound waves or mechanical vibrations suggests a complex interplay between hearing and touch, which could be harnessed to treat sensory disorders and may revolutionize the way we think about the brain. Scientists have long suspected, however, that some of these sensory signals in the brain might have some circuits in common or might otherwise be related. Researchers can test these ideas with an array of tests and direct imaging of the brain. Yao has performed experiments in which participants wearing headphones listened to sounds at two particular frequencies and were asked to tell which was at a higher pitch. Meanwhile, the participants' fingers were in contact with pads that were fed vibrations, also at several frequencies. The ability of subjects to tell sounds apart was affected by the presence of fingertip vibrations and vice versa. The interesting result is that audition and touch interact bidirectionally in frequency perception, Yao said. This suggests that the brain is combining this information. When perceiving the intensity of the sound or vibrations rather than the frequency, the interaction between hearing and touch was not reciprocal. It is notable that the range of frequencies detected by the ear overlaps partially with those sensed by the skin. This overlap may be crucial in allowing these senses to use shared neural circuits in the brain. Because the signals we hear often relate to the signals we feel, Professor Yao believes that the brain may have evolved mechanisms to combine sensory information from both hearing and touch to achieve a more accurate assessment of our environment than possible with either sense alone. Yao uses multiple techniques, including behavioral studies, computational modeling, brain imaging, and non-invasive brain stimulation to explore the complex perceptual and neural interactions between hearing and touch. A more detailed understanding of the perceptual and neural connections between the senses is emerging and may suggest potentially novel ways to treat sensory impairments caused by aging, disease, or trauma. Although other researchers have focused on how the brain region traditionally associated with sound processing, which is the auditory cortex, is affected by touch, Professor Yao has also focused on the impact of sounds upon brain regions traditionally associated with touch, which includes a region known as the somatosensory cortex. Using functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, a non-invasive imaging method which indirectly measures brain activity by detecting changes in blood flow to different areas. Professor Yao has shown that simply listening to sounds produces pattern activity in the somatosensory cortex as well as the auditory cortex. So responses to both sound and touch were distributed across a number of brain regions which he believes may be responsible for integrating the sensory cues received from more than one sense. Yao calls these regions 
supramodal, an important new concept in our representation of the workings of the brain. The supramodal paradigm of brain organization may apply to many types of information we experience through our senses. Rather than being initially processed in brain areas that are dedicated to individual senses before being integrated in higher order parts of the brain, signals from multiple senses may be intertwined from the moment they enter the brain. My next lecture will include more exciting facts and research on hearing and touch.